Hello and welcome back to the Bold Bavarians. So, we are still pretty much in our gaining control stage. We're just sitting here, gaining up control, gaining up prestige. Prestige is kind of our next big thing because we're looking to get that um, partition thing right here. Partition succession law. What this does is, well, it means that effectively the person who is directly underneath us will get all of our major titles and it will not create any new ones. So, if we expand the Duchy of Bavaria beyond its borders, I've talked about this before, but say we get Osberg, it would not then split into Osberg and Bavaria, we would just keep Bavaria. Now, the lower level titles could still switch. So, for instance, if we got a son here, well, let's say we got a daughter because that makes it easier. So if we got a daughter, or two sons, um, land of München and Osberg probably would pass to the first one, and then uh, eschen Loe would pass to the second one. I believe if we got three children, what would then happen is one would get München, one would get Osberg, and one would get eschen Loe. and then if we got four, the fourth one's just unlucky. Try again next time. So, um, our current goal, get, get this, and I think we're moving towards going on a hunt because a hunt is a very good way to gain a lot of prestige i think you get 75 just for having a hunt uh like for the end of it maybe 150 if you get a successful one and then there's like a 75 thing in the middle we need 500 overall it's not going to be too difficult we basically just need money right oh the other th suggestion was that maybe we can switch ourselves onto foreign affairs because apparently this gives us i was told that this gives us some prestige i might be missing it here no, I, I can't see it, but um, maybe I'm missing something. Oh no, there we go, the top one, I am missing something. So yes, this gives us a 0.5 prestige per month. I don't think it's gonna increase it so much that we need to do that. I prefer the direct vassal opinion, just because I want all my vassals to like me right now. And I'd really like this faction to just disappear. Cool, let's unpause and let it go. A brewing troublemaker. While I have come to expect mischief from my daughter and heir Judith, her creativity keeps me on my toes. When it is not a prank, it is a brawl, a disgruntled tutor or Grey's knees from an adventure gone wrong. Okay, so she gains rowdy. That's a pretty good trait. We got arch saddle innovation. Oh, I forgot to choose a new fascination. Um, because basically we're in charge here, so I should be choosing one. Arch, oh, in fact, I don't think we got it. I think that's just the one it chose. Arch saddle gives us what? Uh, recruit armored horsemen as men at arms. I don't even know if that's what I want. What do the other ones do? Royal uh, prerogative allows you to enact high crown authority and absolute crown authority. Interesting. Um, this gives us naval speed, which is actually just like completely unnecessary. De jure uh, Cassis belly prestige cost and can use individual de jure duchy Cassis bellies. So that's interesting because a duchy Cassis belly would be if we. I'm trying to think. Is that let me let me see what that says actually. I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't actually tell you what the full thing is. So the Jure ca uh, Duchy Cassis Belly, I think, is the one that lets you declare for an entire duchy if you were a kingdom. So say that we owned the kingdom of it's probably Bavaria. Say we own the kingdom of Bavaria, we could then declare for all of Osberg because it's part of our de jure kingdom. And it's a duchy in it. I think that's what that one lets you do. Either that or it lets you declare for individual duchy ones. But I think we already have that. So I don't believe that's what that can be. Um, let's have a look at this. See whether we've got anything better here. Men at arms. I think that lets you just get more. And makes your men of arms larger. That's kind of nice. Trebuchets could be cool for um, being able to take down holdings quick, uh, more quickly. Um, is there anything else in here that just seems nice? Divine Right. Compress several of your claims in a single war. I quite like that one. I don't know if it's necessary, but I quite like it. Heraldry would be okay, except we're already switching to Partition, and High Partition isn't really even that much better. Uh, banking lets us get development growth. What's nice about the, this one is that this one makes all the other ones go quicker. Domain Limit plus one we don't care about. Um... This we don't really care about, it just lets us get these things quicker. The main tax is 5%, again, not a big deal. You know what, I think I'm going to take banking. We're going to do that as our absolute first thing. We get it in 27 years, but it's going to push forward a bunch of the rest of our tech stuff. Maybe. We'll see. Right, um, anything else? Ooh, you finished increased control, uh, in which case we need control in our last one. Yeah. 
perfect. And then we will be as strong as we're ever going to be. Um, yeah, go increase control over there. Nice, three years left. We'll let them go. Sway, the visit. I'm passing through Regensburg, the capital of my marshal, Countess Adelaide, when I receive an invitation to visit her castle. As I arrive, she welcomes me with open arms and a tour. One thing that strikes me... One thing that strikes... One thing that strikes me is that the place is full of unfinished projects. So I can stay for a while or just show me to your room. Or to my room. Yeah, I'll help her, right? A library where the books are stacked in corners, unfinished building projects all over the place, most notably a whole dining hall and a chest of gold just standing in the middle of a hallway. Countess Adelaide's castle is a mess. So I could help out with the dining hall. I could help out with the books. The chest of the of gold is very unguarded. Mm-hmm. Or head off to bed. So it's definitely books or the chest of gold. Let's go with the chest of gold. Maybe she'll give us some. I explain the risks of keeping a chest of gold out in the open to uh, Count Ad... As I explain the risks of keeping a chest of gold out in the open, Count Adelaide's eyes widen in realisation. Oh, of course it shouldn't be out there. Thank you, Duke Themo. Things are looking good. There's some other areas I can still help her out in. How about the books? Bound books, loose documents, decorated spines. After a lot of reshuffling, there is finally some semblance of order in the chaos that is Countess Adelaide's library. Things are looking good, and there are other areas I can still help her out in. Now, do I risk it for the dining hall? Uh, I think I, I think I say now's the time for bed. What have we got here? Send proposal. No, you're not going to teach my daughter. What? Are you crazy? Also, what's this one? Principality. The Georgian de jure war for the Principality of Georgia. Ah, wait, that's attacking Georgia. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need to worry about that at all. We're a secondary person in it. And then this one's the war against the tyranny, which we also don't really need to care about. Okay, full speed. I spot Countess Adelaide uh, by the entrance, waiting to see me off in the morning. As I walk up, I hear her muttering to herself, you really fix the place up. Mm -hmm. After a quick goodbye, I'm soon on the road back home again. Glad I was able to help. She gained 10 opinion of us. Well, it's an awful lot for 10 opinion, but that's okay. Why are you creating a faction against me? Oh, you would like yourself to be in charge. I mean, that's okay. I mean, the answer is no, but you're welcome to start. Um, what's this? Somebody else joined the faction? Oh, no, you joined the other faction. Somebody else joined the other faction. You did. Oh, so he must have been out of it because I beat them in a battle, and now he's actually, now he's free. He's like, well, I want to join these. You're severely injured. You're likely, well, you're fine right now because you've got a successful wound uh, thing, so you might actually live. I'm going to send you a gift if I could. Can I convert you to witchcraft? I think I'm going to try and convert him to witchcraft. We'll see what he says. It's 95% chance of succeeding, so I think that'll be good. It'll give us a secret against him. Neighboring ruler won a war. Nice. Uh, don't really care about that, though. Uh, greetings, my liege. Despite our best uh, efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets at Count Borizhov's court. Um, well, keep it up. Keep trying to find secrets. Uh, and while we're at it, I believe we can go on our feast. Not feast, hunt. No, because we need to have 67 gold. And also we need to wait another two years. Okay, so it's a little bit of time we need to wait on this one. Fair enough. Uh, just checking. How long till this fire? 16 months. Okay, so we got time and we're getting stronger the whole time this is going on. The Unstoppable Alexander. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was amazed to learn about the exploits of Alexander the Great during his conquests of Mesopotamia. During the siege of Tyre, of, um, or would that be Tyre? I, I, do, I, I know it says Tyre, but I'm like, it could also be Tyre. During the siege of Tyre, Alexander, it just doesn't sound like it should be a place where, you know, important things are happening. But anyway, Alexander assaulted an island fortress by demolishing a nearby town and then using the rubble to build a causeway stretching from the mainland to the city walls. This allowed his siege engines to attack the enemy fortress directly, though it was his navy which ultimately created a breach. Okay, so we get forder, so we don't take penalties crossing rivers. Military engineer, which gives us siege phase time, which I love. Or reaver, which gives us raid speed. Or why waste studying tactics which didn't work? I think I'm going to take this one, Military Engineer. 
I think that seems like a really good one. It's one that we constantly look for and is just generally quite useful. I cannot force Wurgan to see the truth, but I have done all I can to open his mind to it. Let's try and make him a witch. I was the sleeping shape of Wurgand while I send a quick prayer to the Horned God. As soon as the last whispered words pass my lips, he stirs as if his subconscious mind has waited for this moment. And I step out of the shadows and offer Wurgand his blessing. There is no fear or hesitation in his eyes. No, his acceptance is wholehearted and hungry. So I can show him my full self and gain 20 opinion, or he must find his own path, at which point I could blackmail him. I don't know whether it's a strong hook or a weak hook. We could blackmail him over it. Let's find his own, own path and let's see whether this worked, because this is kind of where my first thought went. Um, I could just expose him as a witch and give us a reason to get rid of him. Hmm. You cannot blackmail another witch for being a witch. What do you mean I can't blackmail another witch for being a witch? What if I'm just not very loyal to witchdom? What if I want to get rid of them? I can just expose them as a witch. Yeah, okay. You're a witch. I've exposed you. This gives me a reason to lawfully imprison this dude. It will not succeed, but the other vassals would be disgruntled and would rise up against me as well. Okay, I'm hoping people knowing he's a witch is probably going to just lower, like, people's opinions of him and generally make him just not liked. He doesn't like me because I exposed him as being a witch, huh? Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I'm going to keep, uh, I could demand your conversion. You would actually accept. You know what, sure. Become Waldensian. That's probably going to help your opinion of me somewhat. Let's see, um, yeah, it will. Or at least it won't lower it. She only takes a negative 10 for me asking. Yeah, she switches, so she only takes a negative 10. So that's actually going to burn off, so she will actually like me more after this. Um, I could convert her to witchcraft. Sure. Let's convert her to witchcraft as well. If I expose that, people really wouldn't like her. My spy master has come to me with great news. Well, I do not know who, somebody is plotting to kill my knight Arnold. Oh, all right. You would like me to go to your feast. I accept. It's a warm welcome. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my Marshal Countess Adelaide goes on and on about the blessings of family. And that is how we salvage that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? No, no, please go on. We get an interesting conversation. Or why don't we talk more about you? Close to getting a friendship and we gain opinion. I'll gain that opinion. Yeah. Hidden meaning. The other guests are laughing and chattering in a noisy hall, making it hard to focus on the gruel in front of me. I draw lines and engagements in the greasy sludge as I think of ways to counter various battle plans. If the cavalry was to charge down this flank, it might work on a real battlefield. So we get cavalry insight, and we get some martial lifestyle from it, potentially. All over my new shirt. We could all tell Countess Adelaide had too much to drink, even though she insisted on showing us how sober she was. Simply rising from her seat proved too much for her, and now I'm covered in stinking vomit. Then say so you ought to be ashamed of yourself, or, ah, what a show you put on. We're all about gaining that opinion. Uh, hey, my wife just made every courtier like me by ten. Wonderful. What a feast. I'll remember the day spent in Countess Adelaide's halls for a long time to come. Now it's time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine, and once more resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. Wonderful. So we lose stress, which we just gained, and now she likes me at a hundred percent. You want to leave the faction? You actually like me as much as you could possibly like someone. Level of splendor just increased. Uh, nice. So we are now insignificant. It gives us a little bit more prestige. We actually lost some prestige in that feast, unfortunately. She's not leaving, huh? She likes me at a hundred percent, and she's not leaving. Uh, I could hire some mercenaries. I have enough. I'd really just like you to not be in the faction, if that's okay. Uh, a couple months we could witch her. Uh, Vertius ca um, Countess celebrated. Waldensian's well, favor went up. Nice. Worker diligence. We got workers that are better, so building construction time. Nice. We got a tick of development there. Ooh, the other person left the faction, which is nice, but they can still send the ultimatum, but it'll be one against one. Convert to witchcraft. We will convert her. 
Um, I'm going to tell her my secret. And we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping she will leave. The right to rule Bavaria belongs to me by divine right. And I find... And uh, I finally have the means to make it so. Accept this piece, uh, this fact peacefully or I'll make you do so by force. Uh, I will not be threatened? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, get some troops. So we have slightly less than she has. We can call in our ally, Countess Gwen. Wait, do we really only have one ally? We have many allies. However, our allies underneath us cannot join us. Countess Gwen is our only ally. Well, we will call her to war, definitely. Uh, I am now going to raise my troops and possibly also get some mercenaries if we can afford any. They're a little expensive right now. Yeah, okay, so we'll raise up our troops. Wait, why do we only have this many troops? Why do we not have 1,711? I guess maybe we're missing some from her or... Uh, if I click here and try and raise, tro raise troops. I guess, yeah, maybe it's counting the number I have from her. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. So she, uh, we're getting somebody joining the war. If I was to attack, do you think I'd win? No. Oh, maybe it's counting the number that I should get from my marshal if I had one. Let's reassign you as the marshal. We'll put in a spy master of... My brother Rasso. Okay. That's fine. What if I had you increasing my levies? Could I then raise some more troops? I can't disband, can I? Uh, I cannot disband while hostile armies are around. So is that the one I want? Or do I want men-at-arms cheaper? I really want men-at-arms cheaper till we go into a battle. Things will be even. If my uncle joined in, he'd be at Forder and Reaver, which neither of which are that good. Uh, my brother... I mean, we're just not good enough to really be the one that we're after here. They all have raid speed, which is really not ideal. Reckless gives us a high percentage chance of getting something crazy happening. If I want to absolutely destroy this war, though... She didn't call in any allies. She probably will do. How far away is... Yeah, they're quite far away... I think I have to pay for these mercenaries. I don't think I have a choice. No, you're not educating my daughter. Stop asking. Right. I think I need to get some mercenaries. I'm going to get... What type of troops do you have? Mostly pikemen or spearmen. Let's not get these guys then. Sicilian band. Yeah, okay. Let's hire them. We're, we're very, very low on money right now. Uh, we are in debt. Yeah, tell me about it. We're going to wander over here. We do take some... We're, we're in one year in debt. That's fine. I think this is fine. I think we should win. We are going to take this. They have a better army commander, but we are more. I think we're fine. Yeah. So we get the men-at-arms counter. We have more troops. We have more knights. Yeah. Their, their commander is better, but at the same time... We're going to win. Wonderful. We actually captured her. Easy. Look at that. We have won. Okay, so. The nice thing about getting that. Can we revoke her titles? We totally can. It's tyranny, but we could revoke her titles. Which might end up being good if we wanted extra domain holdings. Hmm. See, if I went up to this level, we'd, we'd be much happier about it. So is it tyranny to take her titles? But it will let me do it. Okay, what does it do? She hates me. Control level drops. Vassals lose 20 opinion. That could be the right move. We just take both of her titles. That puts us up to our domain limit. We have the ability to gain control. Yeah, you know what? Revoke title. Revoke the other one too. So my vassals are going to hate me for what I just did there. But I think it's by far the right decision. Uh, I need to give away the temple holdings. But I think that that's going to work out much better for us long term. Uh, we can then just ransom her off somewhere. I don't really care if she leaves. She's fine. Um, how about you, Wenzel? 
Wenzel, I want to recruit if I could. Yeah, we'll recruit Wenzel. He's pretty happy about it. Philippe. 100 gold? Who are you? You're just a random guy with 500 gold. All right, I'll take 100 gold for you, Philippe. Don't worry about it. Uh, I want to give away these temple holdings. So, is there a way to do... Oh, grant to low noble. That's what I want to do. Perfect. So, grant to low noble. I knew there was a way to do that in previous uh, Crusader Kings games. So, I just want to make sure we got it there. We now have 3,000 troops overall. We do not have a powerful faction. That's actually incorrect. Let's wait like a month and we should be fine. Uh, thank you. We're now... Oh, we're not quite positive on gold because I still have my troops raised to spend. Wait one month. We are now positive on gold. We got a martial perk. I think we want to actually rush our way down here to get hard rule because we just made our vassals hate us. And the increased control in county stuff is nice. Um, probably want to increase control in Regensburg because it's really, really low. Um, so yeah, you're now going to do that. Wonderful. So it actually turns out that my uh, two brothers are on the council as well as my uncle. That's very nice. My vassals don't really like me, but they don't hate me as much as they could hate me. Uh, given I have a minus 40 opinion with them. Uh, they will be joining factions, but we're now significantly stronger, so they need significantly more people in them. I think that we're in a good spot to end the episode.